this out, man. In Hawaii, the Aloha State, a craze is spreading like wildfire. The Milk Cap Game. The Milk Cap Game's not new. It has been revived to help teach kids lessons and moral values and cooperative skills. A teacher at a Hawaiian school saw two students playing a game during recess. This reminded her of the milk cap game she played as a kid. On April 6, 1991, the teacher brought in four tubes of milk caps from a local dairy that manufactures dairy products and juices. Boom! Then it happened. The kids played the game and were hooked. Everyone wanted to play. How the kids even named them. They named them P-O-G-S from the acronym of Passion Fruit, Orange, and Guava, the three types of juices produced at the local dairy. News of this craze spread fast, and a local TV station ran a story on it. <laughs> this sparked the first tournament at the school. Since early 1991, the milk cap game's gone from that school in Hawaii throughout the United States to as far as Japan, and it's expected to go worldwide. The milk cap game's being played everywhere. Amusement parks, playgrounds, sidewalks. In fact, we heard about a tournament going on just down the street. That'd be the perfect place to find out more about milk caps. Let's go check it out. Don't be too loud, right? Just noticed. See this? See this shirt? Look right over there. The judges have on the same color shirt. I even got a name tag. I tell you what, we're gonna try and sneak in and see if we can get in. Okay, so we're just gonna walk in behind this other judge. We're gonna see if we can pull it off. Okay, we'll just be fine. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna be over here. Are you a referee? Yeah, on table five. All right, go ahead on in. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're in, all right? Let's go over here. Let's see what's going on. So how are you guys doing today? Aaron, David, Justin, and Shannon. Okay. Who's turn? Shannon's turn. All right. All right. Oh, we got two. We got two. Shannon got two. All right, two winning. David. David's the big man of the hour. Okay, well, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he gets four. He's got four. So he's got a grand total of five. One more. One more. He catches up with Big Dave. Right. Shannon kills. And I tell you what, Shannon is shooting milk caps at me. All right, Justin's next. He can win the round. He'll slam. And he does. He pulls it off. So you won that round. This guy's the winner of that way. Right, now he gets a certificate from the owner of Z-Cap Corporation. That's Doris. So you've never played the game? Oh, man. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Here's some things you're going to need to get started. What kind of accessories go with the milk cap? Well, there's accessories, like there's the containers. This container would hold maybe like 100, 200 different uh, caps. Uh, we have the game boards. We have different game boards like these that they use to help protect the caps. Because when you throw these, the slammers down on here, it kind of protects it if you're going to use it. A lot of the kids were playing out in the pavement and stuff, and so the, the, the uh, caps and the slammers would get damaged. So they use these to play on. You can go to the swabbing or the store and get a starter pack for less than five bucks. A starter kit usually has 16 milk caps and three slammers. When you start collecting a lot or buying a lot, you're gonna want one of these to store them in. <laughs> So there's hundreds of thousands of milk caps out there. Which ones do you buy, and why? This particular one happens to be a limited edition slammer. It's um, kind of got this little joker face on it, but they make all different designs, and some of them are limited, some of them aren't. Are there any particular milk caps or slammers that you really like? Yeah, surf caps, and this one that I have, it's glow in the dark. Wow, so is that like a collector's item since it's glow-in-the-dark, or is it valuable to you? 
Yeah, I have a heavy metal slammer that I won in a tournament. I never use it, and I just like clean it every day, so it like doesn't get scratched or anything. Cause it's, like means a lot. <laughs> uh, my valuable ones are the bad boy ones, and they're like hundred dollars worth. Wow. What about you? Yeah, I bought one at Universal Studios for ten dollars. It's the Predator. Okay. So these are slammers or milk caps. Mine was a slammer. So people often wonder the age range of the milk cap game. How old's too old? How young's too young? Milk cap game. I think everybody from little kids to adults, they can all play, they can all get involved with it. It's something that keeps the family together as far as playing a game, having a hobby, they can all get involved, go down to the local store, pick up some caps, buy a little starter kit for two ninety five and they're ready to play. Kick, you know, they can play for hours and hours and get different ones, collect different caps. And it's from two years old to uh, whatever, whatever you can do, as long as you can flip that little milk cap and, and uh, win your opponent, it's something to keep you busy. My grandpa is an old guy and he likes to collect them because in the future they'll be worth a lot of money. So we talked to some parents to see what they think about the milk cap game. And here's what they said. Yeah, it's a game, and the kids like to play it. It holds their interest, and I don't see anything wrong in it. Okay, you got to knock over six to win a leg, and you need to win, win two legs to go on to the next round. Okay, Daniel, Daniel, come on, Daniel. We've got two. Daniels. All right, so here we go. Nice it's try. Going around. It's going around. Here okay, we go. Danny, All right. you go. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. All right, Danny. Got six. Come on, Here's Danny. Danny. Oh, I got a you slammer. Need some, Danny. Check it out. I got a slammer. <laughs> so, what'd you think about Mill Caps the first time you saw your kids playing? Uh, I thought they were pretty interesting. I thought that uh, it, it, it's a good way to keep them out of trouble. It reminded me of marbles when I was a kid. We used to play for marbles in, in the round circle when I was about their age. So there's rules to every game. And before you take your milk cap collection to the street, you got to know them. Sometimes make your own rules up, but in a lot of cases there are some rules to the game. There's certain ways you're supposed to hold a slammer, and certain ways you're supposed to throw it down, and you're not supposed to pick it up too fast. First you flip the slammer to see who goes first. You each put an old cap in, on, stack them, and you try and hit them. And if you flip them over, you usually get to keep them if you're playing for keeps. If you're playing just for fun, you hit it, and if you get both of them over, you get the one that your friend put in, you give your, the one that your friend put in back to give them back to them and you keep yours. There's no retries if you go and hit it and like miss. And that's <sighs> So there's a lot of different techniques to the milk cap game. Which ones work best? Ugh. I can hold it this way because I can flip more milk caps over if I throw it down like that. I usually hold it like this because I can flip over the most milk caps if I go like that. My favorite technique is this. I also use that. My two techniques are usually, usually like this and sometimes like this, but I usually go like this because it's a stronger hit. For milk caps, I use a plastic slammer and it usually flips most of them over. A loop for plastic slammers, I use a aluminum slammer. And for aluminum slammers, I use metal slammers. The metal slammers are usually the best slammers because they're more heavier. They flip over easier. So the tournament's over, and we're here with Doris, the sponsor of the tournament today, and also the vice president of Z-Comic Caps. Now, rumor has it, Doris, yes. that you have a warehouse near here that uh, we might be able to go check beautiful out. Beautiful warehouse in Laguna de Gale. And we can go by and check you it out? You can come by. Come on now. OK, great. Let's yeah, go. Hey, let's go. we're on our way. We'll be back. We'll go right over there now. <laughs> okay, with 
Doris and Cy Schwartz, the manufacturers of Z Comet Caps. Doris, when did you first hear about the milk caps? About five years ago, my daughter-in-law, who's originally from Hawaii, told us about them. She knew I was a collector of all different kinds of things, and she thought caps would be something I'd be interested in. The first set that I ever bought was this, the Queen of Hawaii series, and it's signed and numbered. And its value right now is around $55, $60. Wow. Uh, the next one that I purchased was a Wyland. And this was the original series that Wyland did. It's not the one that's going around now. It was a limited edition, and it's signed and numbered by Wyland. And this is worth more than $100 at this point. Um, I started collecting different caps from Hawaii myself. And then I figured, why not sell them? My husband and I, who are agents for comic book artists, asked the artists if they would come together with us and do some caps for us. These were done by a young man who at that time was a tagger. I got a hold of him and got to talking to him and, re and, and helped him to rearrange his life to become an artist. And he's now not doing any tagging any longer. He's one of our artists. As a matter of fact, he's one of our premier artists. This is his cap. This is one of his caps. This is one of his caps, and this is one of his caps. And uh, his name is Michael Masonette, and he is very proud as has he how he's come from the streets to where he's come today. Well, it's qu quite a change. I mean, going from tagging, you know, buildings to producing art on milk caps. It, it really is. It's changed his life. And there are police departments that are giving them out as incentives to kids. And we are members of an organization called Safety and Firearms um, Education. And what this is, is an organization that helps kids who are afraid that they know of someone in school who has a gun or who carries a weapon, and they want that weapon taken away, but they're afraid. And what we have is an 800 number, and right. two of them, one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast, that the kids can call. And we have counselors that answer the phone. They're not machines that answer the phone. They're actual people that answer the phone and talk to the kids, counsel them on the phone, and also find out, try to find out the names of the person who's carrying the weapon anonymously. We will never give out the, the, the uh, caller's name. And um, we had a 15-minute program in New York. Uh, Governor Mario Cuomo was promoted, promoting this in New York, and there was a 15-minute program in a Long Island station, and within a week and a half, they took away between 15 and 20 weapons. But Doris and Cy, I'd really like to thank you for all the information you've given me on the milk campaign. I'd like to thank you for coming. And here, as a gift, there's an unpunched board from Z-Cat. Here is, here is a safety and firearms cap that we'd like to present to you. And here are a couple of packs of Z Comic Caps. Wow. Thank you guys very much. You're Have quite a nice welcome. Day. And play with okay. the power of the storm. Oh, I will. <laughs> Thank you. So we learned a lot about the milk cap game. Where it came from, where it's going, the rules, the players, and a whole lot more. The milk cap game is definitely a craze that's sweeping the world. I'm Jesse Hines, and I got a bail for now. So whether you got a collection of five or 500 mil caps, keep on slamming.